So one of the things that we can do is we can pass arrays to methods just like we would any other data type integers, doubles, chars, strings. All we have to do is we have to just specify that it is in fact an array. But we run into a slight problem. If you remember, we have printed out an array before and it didn't turn out so well as you can clearly see. And the idea is that arrays are complex data types. Complex. Again, you see that everywhere, but they're also known as aggregate. If you want to hop on the internet for five seconds and look up what aggregate means, it just means it's a uh, you know bundle of uh, a collection of uh, data types. That's what we're doing here. Now, why does that matter? Well, again, I tried to print an array and it screwed up. So the issue is we are doing something called passing by a reference and again arrays are complex so I can't just pass by a reference what happens is that I actually am giving the memory address of this I'm giving instead of the values which I would normally do inside of a traditional I'm just giving it an I or an int I or double I or char I when I say int square brackets list I'm giving it the memory address here's an example Let's say, for example, I have an array, one, two, three, four, and then I have a sum of double, which all I'm going to do in here is I'm gonna double every single one of the arrays passed to it, and then uh, add them to total. Simple enough, right? For int i equals zero, i less than uh, numbers dot length, i plus plus. All right, nothing too out of this world just yet. Uh, numbers at i equals numbers at i times 2 and total plus equals numbers at i. Alright, respectful. Uh, when I'm done with that, I return total. Now nothing about that seems out of the ordinary except for the fact, again, we are passing by a reference. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say int uh, total again equals sum of double nums. Now again, what I'm going to do is this is going to pass the number array uh, to sum of do double. The problem is instead of it passing the values one, two, three, four, it's passing the memory address of number nums. And because of that, now when I do this direct manipulation uh, to the array, that direct manipulation is persistent across my entire program. Because again, memory, you know, there's only one spot in memory where my nums array is. So let me just even show that out a little bit more. So for int i equals zero, i is less than nums dot length, i plus plus, boom, uh, system dot out dot print uh, nums at i plus a little comma just to separate my values. But the reason why I want to mention this is then I'm going to come in here right afterwards and do system.out.println the sum of these numbers is total. Alright, so now that I've built this out, let's apply it. So I come in here, and let me get rid of that. Java C test dot Java. Good. No compilation errors. Test. Two, four, six, eight. The sum of these numbers is 20. Interesting. Okay. Well, what what happened to my one, two, three, four? You know, uh, where'd they go? Again, they got manipulated. If I come in here and I mention that, I say uh, system dot out dot print uh, ln I was uh, space plus numbers at I, and then right after that, I say now I'm. I haven't changed numbers. Well, I did, yeah, I changed numbers here. But that stuff was pertinent, that persisted 
throughout the entire program. So as soon as I run this, again, I was one, now I'm two. I was two, I'm now I'm four. I was three, now I'm six. I was four, now I'm eight. So those values up here that are one, two, three, and four are now two, four, six, and eight.